Hello guys, I'm Barry. I'm 21 years old. I already finished my second semester and now I'm going to join to third year student at Tang Yuan University of Technology. My major is electrical engineering and I'm also teaching English at Eli Center. So today I make this video with the purpose to help all of you. If you are beginners or you are starting to study English, I hope that my video will be useful for you. So let's start. So, but first of all, let me tell you a story about my studying English in the past. Like other students in Vietnam, maybe like you, I had to study English at middle school and high school. But um, I didn't do that because of my major. My major is electrical engineering, so I just focus on three objects, math, physics, and chemical. That's why I didn't study English. So exactly, I cannot speak in any word, any sentence on anything that relates to English and during this time in the class I just keep silent and I look, look so scared sometimes I have the chance talk with my friend so why do I study English because after I finish and I pass the national test and I come to study at my USD and in my USD you know especially my, my major my major is electrical engineering but it is international training so all of my course and all of my objects will be touched by English so that means all the students and teachers will speak only English so anyway I had to study English I had to speak English well and after six months studying English with trying my best and now I'm here I'm sitting here with you and I'm, I'm making this video for you by English so I wanna say some. Uh, I wanna say this one thing. That is, um, I can do it. So you can do it too. I can speak English from zero. No, I mean under zero. So you can do it. You can speak English easily and normally. But if you are still feeling confused or scared, so let me help you. If you are beginners or you are starting to study English, you have to remember four things. The first, the first one is remember that big why, small how. You have to ask yourself why do you study English? Why? You study for your future, for your better job, for flirting girl, or to travel around the world. So many many things, but you have to fight and you have to to answer the question why. So after that, the second thing, you have to find your goal and your purpose to study English, and you have to make it clearly. Like, for example, now we have many, many tests like TOEFL, IELTS, or TOEIC, A2, B1, or C2, right? And your purpose is, I'm going to try my best and I'm going to pass a TOEFL test with 500 score during 6 months. So there you are. That. And after that, after you have the answer for the, the question why, and you have your purpose, the girl, you are going to to find and you are going to make your your plans your plans about your schedule your time and your method to study you have to answer the question how many times that you pay for a day for a week for a month and for a year okay to study english and after that you find your method is necessary for you because you have many many methods to study english so you have to find the method that suits with you, okay? And after that, after you have your plans, you should find some friends who wanna speak English or who wanna to study English like you. So and make the group and make love and study English and study and practice together. I mean, it's very very useful for you because uh, when you have the problem or you meet the hard thing, the difficult thing, you can ask your friend and your friend can help you and when your friend have problem you can help them it's very useful and it can make both of you getting better so the but the problem is uh, you can maintain this you, you, up, you apply it and you maintain it over maybe one month so after that you stop because of many many reasons like uh, your friend take you out to many many parties and you have no time um, you have no time because of um, you want to play game or you don't want to do other things it's okay 
I made it and it's normal. I made it. And so how, how can you get over it and how can you fix it? How can you, you maintain the schedule? It's very easy. Just take, uh, just bring out your purpose or your goal and look at your purpose and your goal and think about it. Or you can look at your, your friend or other people who can speak English well and see what they have when they speak English well. So uh, this is only my experience. So maybe it's suit with you, maybe it's not suit. But if you have any question about my, my method that I use to study or uh, anything, you can ask me by commenting under this video. And remember to give me your name, your phone number, and your email address. And I'm going to try my best to help you. So thank you, and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.